Silas Hospice Life Care is pleased to be a member of this community. A member of this community where neighbors are helping neighbors in one of the worst times in their lives. As the end of life approaches, we are able to be there, offer care and comfort with an interdisciplinary team that really wraps all the way around a patient and their family. In fact, one of our staff often says, there's never a non-compliant patient because it's about them and what they want to accomplish in their last days, their last season of life. And we're there to make it all happen. One of the hardest parts about being a hospice is educating the community. It's a scary thing. Being a member of the chamber lets us connect with all sorts of businesses, people, individuals, um, and get our message out. Our membership in the Orville Area Chamber goes back to 1995. In that time, we've been able to connect and network, we've been able to educate, and we've been able to use our membership to find ways to engage this community across all levels of the business endeavors. Being a member of the chamber has let us engage in many different ways. We've been sponsors at events such as the annual dinner. We've had businesses come in for the Chamber Coffee Connection. And we've sent some of our staff to work at the annual golf outing to meet on a different level, casual level, when you can interact and get to know people. One of the things that's been great about being a member of the chamber is our ability to educate and to engage the community. And we need that support on multiple levels. We need volunteers, we need donors, and we need the word spread. The biggest complaint we hear from families is that they didn't know about hospice soon enough. And getting that word out has meant a difference for individuals all across our area. Our current project is a building campaign to serve our mobile care unit, our volunteer office, and our bereavement services, which are free for anyone. They don't have to have been a patient at hospice. In the past years have taught us that grief comes in many levels. As a nonprofit service agency, I often get asked, why would you engage with the chamber? Well, we may be a nonprofit, but we're also a business, and we've got the same realities, and finding ways to network with the business community makes us more successful in that primary mission.